Chef Jeff here at White Apron Catering in Lake Worth. Today we're going to do something a little fun, hopefully. Um, we're going to do some summer rolls. These are a nice, light, fresh, healthy little thing that you can make. They're also, they're actually kind of fun to make too. You make them at home, get everybody involved, you sit around, roll them up, it's great. Um, basically we're making a nice little salad up. So whatever kind of veggies you like to put in there. I've got some, got a little start. I've got some zucchini and squash, uh, little peppers. We're gonna chop up some more peppers. Um, got a little bok choy. If you got some Napa, use that. Cucumbers. Sometimes I like to put the jicama in there. This is one of those ones. It's a tuber. It's nice, but we're gonna peel it down. It's almost, it's sweet and crunchy. So it goes really nice in these. So we're gonna use that. Wanna put in a little green papaya, do that too. So let's go ahead and just get started. Um, I'm going to finish chopping up these, uh, these peppers. And like I said, the trick is you're just going to want to do everything sort of like skinny, like a nice little julienne on everything. So get the peppers going. And as you're doing these, just keep your fingers out of the way and everything will be fine. Now, if you notice, I'm just taking this knife and it's just running it back and forth and letting the knife do the work. I'm taking my finger and using this finger as a guide so the knife's right up against my finger and as long as everything stays behind the finger the knife can't really get you because the knife would have to come all the way up here in order to get anything underneath it. So that's really the best way to do it. Nice chopping technique anyway. So we got that. What else are we going to put in here? We got some cabbage. Like I said, I'm using some bok choy because that's what I found and it was pretty. And we're going to use that. And again, just, just do little strips. And you can use all of this. You've got some Napa. You want to use regular green cabbage. Whatever's, whatever's working for you. wind up with nice little thin strips of this. Put all that nice crunchy vegetable. Uh, with the bok choy too, this is one of those little notes. You're going to want to make sure you wash that up good before you put it in there because you don't want anything crunchy in there. Now to do the zucchini and squash, carrots, cucumbers, I like to use the mandolin. You could dice them by hand. The mandolin really makes things easy and you just got different blades to put on there. I'm using like the medium blade on this. But you can get these, and you got big metal ones, or you can use get these little little Japanese ones. And the only thing is, just be careful of these because they'll they'll give you a little bite. They've got guards for them too that you can run the guards. But really, if you're kind of careful with it, but then you get nice nice real uniform pieces. You can break them up a little bit if they're not cutting good. But we'll just throw all those right in. Maybe a little cucumber too. And on the cucumber, I'll get those seedless cucumbers because they, they still do have a little bit of seeds in the middle, but for the most part, you're just gonna use the outside. That way you, get, you stay with that nice crunchy green. little wet piece you don't really need and then you can do these you can put anything you want in there you can do uh, you could leave them vegetarian you know with just nice vegetables today I think we're gonna put a little shrimp in there this jicama got a hard skin so you're gonna want to peel that but it just peels right down Kind of like you were peeling an orange. And it's sweet, a little sweet and crunchy. But it'll add a nice flavor. It's really good in a lot of salads. So, but we're going to do the same thing, just mandolin this up a little bit. You 
get down to that last little piece, you don't need to. Use it. So put that in there. And then what else are we going to put in there? We'll do, uh, I think we're going to make do this one with a little shrimp. I've just got some cooked shrimp, so I'm just going to take, and I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to slice these up a little bit. And then um, when we season it up, we've got a couple different things that we're going to season it with. I've got a little lime, because I like some lime in there. You're going to have to have a little bit of some acid something in there. But I'll do a little bit of the zest and then a little bit of the juice. I think a little bit of fish sauce really is you need some of that. And the fish sauce you can get at your Asian markets. You might be able to get it at your supermarket if they stock a nice supply of that. I've got a little cilantro and a little basil. You can also use a little mint if you'd rather. The basil and the mint are from the same family, so either one of those are good. And any, like I said, anything else you want to flavor it up with is good. But I like the combination of like the cilantro and mint or the cilantro and basil. Gives it a nice clean light, nice light clean flavor. So we'll do a little cilantro and again I think the best way if you think about it as being just a nice salad then you're good to go um, I like to put a little pickled ginger in there too it gives it a nice little a little bite so we're gonna dice a little bit of that pickled ginger up Zest, and I'm using my microplane here. These things are great. And then we'll give it a little. There, um, we've got some of our fish sauce, so we're gonna put a little bit of the fish sauce in there, a little squeeze of that, and it pretty much is just what it sounds like. I'm gonna say get that, and then maybe even just a little bit more. Uh, I've got a little rice wine vinegar here that we we'll put in there, a little bit of that, a little salt and pepper, and we're ready, ready to go. Now the fun begins. All right, we're just going to mix that up. And if you look at that, it's just, you got a beautiful salad. You could, could you eat it like that? Absolutely. Would this make good lettuce wraps? You know it. So, what we're going to take, and we're going to do summer rolls with it. All right, so that's ready to go. We're gonna let that marinate up a little bit while we're, uh, while we're getting the rest of this stuff together. All right, now we're ready to get things rolling with this. What do we need to get these going? Well, you need a little bit of water, uh, some lu like lukewarm, lukewarm water, um, and you need your, your uh, spring roll wrappers. Let's get these at your Asian market too when you're picking up your fish sauce. But all they are is they're a rice paper wrap. They're thin, I mean, you can look, you can almost see through them. But we're gonna take those. They're really, they're really crisp too. So 
when you're pulling them out, you're going to have to be a little bit careful because they'll, I mean, they'll break and rip. And once they break and rip, you really, you don't even want to use them. Now, what I find works good is get yourself a little, like a real thin towel, and I soak it in that water just for a second just to get it wet. But I find this works good. It absorbs the liquid, but also keeps them moist. A little handy wipe or chick's towel, whatever, whatever you've got handy works great. And then take your, um, take your wrappers, and you're going to take these wrappers and soak them in the uh, liquid. And you really only want to soak them about as long. The trick is, if they get real soft, they're going to be harder to, they're going to, be harder to roll. They'll get real sticky. So you really want to soak them about as long until you can just handle them. Like, they're not really going to wrap quite yet, but they're getting mighty close. So I leave them in there. And like I said, it takes about 20 seconds or 30 seconds to wrap them up. There. Now see how that's getting nice and pliable? That's about where we want them. And you just lay them down. You do one at a time or two at a time. If you're really good, you could do three or four. Uh, I think two is plenty. And then I'll take this and mix it up. And then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to squeeze out a lot of that liquid. If they've sat for a while, squeeze out that extra liquid, and you're going to put a little handful down. And this is where the fun part comes in. So if you had everybody sitting around the table and doing this, or the idea of doing this for a dinner party, how fun is this? So you do like a nice little mixture and put it into a sort of an even amount. And you're going to take and roll them up, but see how soft they've gotten already? Roll them up and you just be gentle. But the trick is you want to roll them tight. So get them once over, then fold in the ends, and you're just going to wrap them up like a little burrito. There you go. And we're going to do another one. And uh, while we're doing that, I'm going to put a couple more in there real quick so that those should be about ready by the time I'm done with this one. And again, you're just rolling them up. And there you go. And they're beautiful. I mean, you'll see them. And you see all the vegetables that are inside there. So you get to see all that. Oh, look at that. Those are about perfect. We're going to roll up a couple of these and then just present them. What I found works good as far as presenting them, I get the banana leaves. And again, you go down to your produce market. They might even have them at the Asian store. But you can get the banana leaves, either fresh or frozen or plantain leaves. And uh, for some reason, these won't stick on those. They'll stick on just about everything else, and you'll have a tough time getting them off. Well, that one didn't really wrap that nice. Look at the end. The end came out. So, if you're careful and quick, you can get them while they're there. Just roll them up. All right. And then when you're done rolling, Everybody's rolled as many as they're going to want to eat. We'll get ready to present them. And here, this is that uh, banana leaf that I told you. You just got some, some of the plantain leaf or banana leaf. Like I said, you get them at the produce market or wherever. And then we've got some sauces, but we'll take these. And you can take them and you can eat them whole. You know, put them right on the plate like that whole. You can cut them. You know, stand them up. Lay them down, stand them up, whatever you want to do. Prop them up on each other. So whatever's, whatever's working for you. And then a couple nice sauces. I do a, like a little ginger dipping sauce. That's nice, a little ginger, little ginger sesame soy ginger uh, dipping. 
That's a beautiful sauce for it. Or like a, like a Thai chili peanut sauce. And either one of those are good. But this is how, we, this is how I like to do the summer rolls. So if you, here you've got a shrimp summer rolls with a couple different dipping sauces. I'm Chef Jeff here at White Apron Catering in Lake Worth. Hope you enjoy them. Go ahead and try them. They're fun. Thanks for watching.